Alrighty, how's it going, folks? Okay, well, this is um, actually my second ever unboxing video slash stream slash content. This actually, I'm, I've been very excited about. It. I've, I've been wanting to do this uh, ever since the pandemic started, actually, um, which was to get some kind of uh, smart board that I can uh, either play or specifically analyze on um, so that for me, it feels like an OTB experience. And, uh, then I can also broadcast what I'm doing to, uh, like chess.com and we can stream it, um, on the channel. Um, because usually when I'm, and you guys can't see my face, so it's here, but usually when I'm studying, you know, I'm often studying either on the computer or OTB. Uh, I prefer studying OTB. I really like moving the pieces around and I feel like it's very helpful if you're a tournament player to be doing a lot of work OTB, but the problem is it's very hard to stream, right? So if you're going to stream something, then generally you have to kind of do it um, online. It has to be done virtually. So I'm hoping, hoping to get the best of both worlds here where I can kind of have like more of an OTB experience, but then also stream what I'm doing. I think it could be, could be pretty cool. Okay. I'm being very, very gentle with the, uh, with the tape here. Oh, there's a nice um, nice little letter that they sent. It's just a, it's just a basic invoice, nothing, <laughs> nothing special. It's like, you ordered a smart board and this is what you paid. Thank you for your order. No exclamp, just thank you for your order. Yeah, I think, um, are all DGT clocks compatible with the boards? I believe I, as far as I saw, as long as the board and the clock both have like a hookup, because I have, I have a blue DGT clock, um, a North American, but I don't believe this one connects to any of the smart boards. Like the ones that do have some kind of like hole in the middle here, right? Like the red ones or the, the brown ones. Um, so I think any of those that have like some, like the connection port, I think they they should work with all of the all of the boards that that DGT DGT does. It'd be very surprising if if they if any of the boards were incompatible with with the clocks. You guys probably can't see a whole lot right now, but oh, there we go. Okay. All right, so there's um, some bubble wrap, and then the DGT smart board. Oh, board sized, and then it has its features on the back, which is cool. Now let me get the bigger box out of the way because we only need this uh, smaller box. Okay. Oh, and there's some stuff. All right. So you guys want you guys want to do the box first? You guys want to do the manuals first? Uh, careful. DGT boards often catch on fire. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't say that. I'm just kidding. Um, no, it's just showing like the different kinds of pieces. And then there's like, there are different clocks. All right, let's, um, oh, there's a Centaur thing. I don't know what this is. Uh, all right. There's the board. Very nice. It does appear to be wood. I don't know if it is wood. I'm not smart enough to tell by feeling it. It looks like wood, which is nice. And uh, yeah, it's neat to, oh, box is gone. Box is gone. Box is out. It's uh, it's not too heavy, but it's got a nice, nice heft to it. But yeah, the pieces are sold separately. So I just want to do like a public service announcement for you guys. You got to order the pieces separately. Don't just assume that the board comes with the pieces. This stuff is expensive. Actually, they have pretty good customer service, I have to say, because I wasn't sure if the board came with this or not, like the connection thing. Like you would assume it does, but Somewhere on the page, it says like that you need to buy the connection materials separately based on whether you're using the board from like home use or tournament use. So it's kind of confusing. So I didn't know. So I didn't want to just get the board and then not have 
the cable. So I ordered like an extra one and then they emailed me and they were like, Hey, are you sure you want an extra one? Cause that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I was like, Oh, <laughs> thank you for emailing me. No, I, they're like, yeah, it already comes with one. So are you sure you want an extra one? I was like, no, I don't. And then they, they refunded the, the cost and it was a little, a little cheaper. So that was, that was very nice of them. All right. And here's the, um, here are the pieces that I ordered. They are the, these ones here. Oh boy. Sorry guys. I don't know if it's, if it's going to focus. They're over here. They're the timeless pieces. Um, that are weighted. I'm less weighted. I know it was blurry. I'm not a camera guy, so I just don't know how to. All right, let's open it up. Slides out. It's almost like um, like a board game box, like a small, like it's the size of a uh, code names. We just had like code names. All right, and then we got some pieces here. Looks like these are white pieces. Black pieces. Let's take this out. Oh, this bag's already open. It's a little weird. All right. They're nice. I really like wooden pieces. Let's start pulling them out here. All the black pieces are there, so that's good. Let's see, four points. Hey, oh, we got all the white pieces as well. That's great, everyone's here. Wow, they nailed it. They had one job and they nailed it. All, <laughs> they got all the pieces. Fantastic, and of course, extra, extra queens, in case you need to promote. I wonder how that works. I wonder, do they know like which queen you, you put down when you're promoting? the right queen anyway it might work what's gonna be the first move guys that we make oh my god so much pressure Do we go f3 a3 we gotta go e4 right it would be a disgrace to chess if we didn't go if we didn't i'm gonna go e4 i'm gonna go e4 will it work though oh oh, 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 oh. look at that Look at that. Actually, I even put the pawn on e4 before I even, I didn't even finish my move yet, but it already, it already knew. Wow. Wow. Fantastic. Does this work? Wow. How does it know what moves I'm going to make? I feel like it records the move before I'm even done. Like, okay, your knight's coming out. All right. I haven't touched, I haven't touched f3 yet. I haven't touched the yet. Oh, I still haven't touched it, but it showed up, but I didn't touch it. So it's, it's jumping the gun a little bit, but it's, it's close enough. It's close enough. <laughs> it's close enough. This is cool though. I wonder how fast it can handle because, you know, these hands have some six speed. This is the first opening I learned as a kid. I learned that this is called the dragon. Oh, the board doesn't show my finger, which is weird. All right. So this is called the dragon because of the uh, formation. Then I learned that in this position, knight g4 is not a great move because of bishop d5 check. And then if bishop d7, my knight's queen takes g4. Do I recommend this for a practice? Well, I mean, you don't have to get the whole like, you know, smart board um, set up, but I do recommend working uh, OTB, absolutely. I think that's um, a very useful thing. Okay, let's see if we have some, uh, oh, we got some challenges, all right. Ready. Um, let's play uh, Seth, been a while. All right, oh, we're black, uh-oh, all right. No, but it's plugged in to this side. Oh boy. All right, D4. All right, I'm going to play sideways to that one. 
<laughs> yeah, take it, Seth. All right, hold on. I got to keep this board plugged in while we flip it around. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. I want the pieces to shift. This, this cord is just not very long. <laughs> it's, it's a real... A real hassle. Hold on, we'll get there. Uh, I gotta. Oh man, I don't want to disconnect it. That could be that could be bad. But right now, there's a there's a cord on the board. All right, hold on. D4, C4, all right. G6, G6. Let's not flag. Mm, it's just barely not long enough. Oh oh boy. Oh boy. Now I gotta just like redo the connection, but if I disconnect it, it's it's not gonna be happy, right? Okay, knight c3. We'll we'll play like this, right? It's not. Is this scuffed? Is this? <laughs> how's the angle, guys? <laughs> how's, how's the angle? <laughs> I see the moves on my screen. I um, cause uh, it's a real chess.com game that we're that we're playing. <laughs> Oh man, what a what a pain! All right, let me let me fix this. Let me fix this. There should be two. Okay, you know what, Seth? We might have to restart the game because I think I need to. Oh wait, I can do this. Oh, this works. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that cord management. All right, I'm back in business. Oh, did the casting work? Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that it worked. I forgot that you you might not castle every time. Okay, Bishop G five on the board. Um, this is known as the Overbach variation. I think it's quite a solid setup for white. Um, I'm going to think a little bit about how to react to this one. I'm not sure. Lots of options. How much time we got? 13 minutes? Oh, man. I'm already in time trouble. I already feel like I'm in time trouble. <laughs> Let's try C5. This is good, guys. I mean, uh, this is good content, no? This is good content. This is great. How well do you guys see the board, by the way? I mean, I, I know you can see the board, but like... It's it's not the best angle, right? I'll try to I'll try to improve it somehow. Hey, we got another raid from uh, LaFong. Hello, LaFong. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. We are just playing some chess. Some classic chess with a board. It's basically Christmas today. It's basically Christmas. Is it plastic? How dare you? This is a DGT smart board and it doesn't respond well to insults, okay? I like to think it has a mind of its own. It can remember, it can improvise. Pretty soon it'll be able to play on its own and make its own decisions. All right, Bishop F4. Let's go E6. So okay, typical plan in the in the Benoni when you're going c5, you want to go e6 and open the e file and get some play for your pieces. All right, knight f3. All right, I think I am gonna take though. I'm gonna go rook, rook e8 to um, attack on the e file. Okay, did that work? Very good. Thank you, hip exor. Yeah, I I think the board is quite nice. Um, oh, and you guys, you guys enjoying the, uh, the coordinates? Yeah, you better, better be. I got them for you guys. All right, C takes D5. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's do it. Yeah, and I'm, I honestly, I am, again, this is not sponsored. I asked them to, they said, no, sorry, we can't. I asked them, but they said, no, um, it's not sponsored, but I I, I feel like the board is very responsive. So I, I would play Blitz with it. I mean, we can try. I don't I don't think I would play like, you know, chess.com speech as championship like like this. <laughs> I think I probably want to use the mouse, but uh, you know, uh, it would be fun to play against um, against folks. I definitely prefer playing like this. Okay, there's no clock to hit, which is a bit of a shame. But um, I didn't get a clock with it. They they've been um, they're all everyone's out. They don't have any clocks right now. So unless I spring for a DGT Pi clock, which is like $300, but I don't really, I don't really want to do that. Um, but I'll try to, uh, 
I'll try to get one as soon as I can. Oh, yeah, 1342 for some reason. All right. Okay, but this one's behind a bit. All right. So <laughs> we're a little bit behind. Okay, but it's my move. All right, I'm going to go 94, queen of five. All right, let's take. Man, I do hate it when drinks kind of ruin the angle. <laughs> Very apologetic, but this is just most convenient for me. Maybe I can just hide it behind the... Oh, uh, there we go. I could just get it. Just gotta get it to the right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, you guys would never know. There's a drink there. It's literally right here, guys. It's literally like right. You would never know. <laughs> okay, knight takes c4 plate. Alright, before we spill this all over the place. Um clock. Let's go queen a5 check. Okay, bishop d2. I do think knight c3 is a better move because then at least it forces black to give up the dark squared bishop, yeah, because it's strong. Here, okay, queen b5, white well, does get knight takes d6, but again, I don't think this pawn uh, is super important or any of these pawns are super important. I think what's more important is that white's, white's king is just getting um, cut from, uh, from castling. Okay, yeah, I think queen a6 makes sense because on queen d3, white can take... Rook e8 check, bishop e3, I think nothing there. Rook takes bishop e3 anyway. And then our queen just gets hit immediately. So, a6 is the move here. Could be wrong though, not sure. All right, knight takes c8. Man, people, any reason to bring up Lee chess? Any reason? Okay, I think rook takes is the most natural. Rook e8 check, bishop e3. I don't really see the points of uh, including that one too much. I guess the knight is trapped. I could consider rook e8 check, bishop e3, bishop takes b2. Rook b1, bishop c3 check, knight d2. Don't really see anything too special there. So when rook takes c8, white can go queen e2. Challenging the queens. Take on b2 there. b1. All right, let's keep it simple and just take. Yeah, I would have gotten one a long time ago if it wasn't expensive, but I just felt like for the stream, it was such a game changer that I had to do it. I did it for you all. Do you guys understand? For you all. All right, let's uh, take on v2. Oh, got to make sure I don't flag. Uh, thank you, Dr. Ragnar. No, I appreciate it. I, I was really wanting to come up with a good setup, so I'm glad people are, glad people are enjoying it. All right, queen takes a6. Take back. Rook e8 would have been hanging, buddy. Why would play queen takes rook check? Because the knight was still back on b8. And then black would have been very sad. All right, rook b1. Oh, somehow this clock is 640. I must have forgot to hit that clock. <laughs> Hey Seth, on my clock, you're down to five minutes, all right? Oh, oh, oh. All right, king d1. Okay, I was expecting bishop e3 there. King d1. That's fine. So our bishop needs to be uh, pulled back, it seems. Let's go bishop g7. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, you got all these pieces on the side of the board. This is classic. Okay, rook e1. Good move. I think I want to either trade and go rook d8 or just rook d8 immediately. I think I want to keep the pieces on the board. 
Rick D8. Oh, sorry. For, all right, I'll, I'll let my clock run for a bit. Dang, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, this move, you know, my thought was to play here. And the idea is that I'm not letting white connect it. Because I think rook takes d5 was also possible, but then white gets some counterplay with rook to b7. I thought about that, rook d8, rook takes f7, bishop c3. But then I'm not even threatening bishop takes d2 necessarily because there's going to be some 7th rank checks. So just this one first... And then White's rook maybe has to go to b7. Then I can just take, and I think I'm, I think I'm doing good. Uh, the board's expensive, yeah. Unfortunately, they. I mean, that's really the only drawback to these boards is that they're they're pricey, like with the pieces too, because the pieces have to be electronic. Every piece, you know, has its own personal narrative or backstory that's built into the the hardware of the piece. Like this knight, for example, uh, you know, comes from a long line of. Of, of English knights. Uh, this knight has uh, more of an Italian background. Okay, rook to b7. Um, let's take on d5. All right, now the clocks are a little closer. I'll let mine run. Have I tried any of the other less expensive e boards? No, I haven't because for me, it's not just the e board. I really wanted like a, a wooden board with like wooden pieces and stuff. Um, so, uh, like, I think for others, the other boards might be totally fine if that's what you're into. But for me, like, I just didn't want, like, the plastic or any of those other ones. I just wanted, um, I just wanted, like, a nice wooden set. Yeah, I believe it, it does save something like 500 moves is what I was seeing. But I don't know exactly how that works. But the claim is 500 moves. All right, we're up upon H6 is hanging. What do we want to do here? Oh my god, this is so much more fun than, than online blitz. Four looks pretty annoying, actually. Yeah, let's just go knight before. So I'm giving back the pawn, but I'm just I just want to open up my rooks, get my two rooks and bishop. Open up against white's king looks very unpleasant. Okay, pre-move. Pre-move. Do you understand? Oh, it didn't. Okay, it's too late. I was trying to tell it to pre -move. The clocks are getting pretty close. All right, I'll wait till I have 4.04. Um, I don't know what happens on an illegal move, but I'm I'm scared to find out. I should have waited till I had 3.54. Unbelievable. All right, rook takes. b5, then rook c4, covering c8 square. So let's go rook c8 check. Uh, I feel like I'm playing in the world. No, no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, brutal. Brutal. <laughs> All right, stream's over. Everyone go home. Done here. He took the rug. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, there needs to be a take back option. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you guys saw on the camera what move I had wanted to make. <laughs> Seth is asking, did you think? No, Seth, I thought rook c4 was a good move. I thought, oh, maybe we can trade rooks. <laughs> yeah, position was lost anyway. So, but...